हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज राम सुधाकर आर स्टूडोरियल्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट नाइन्थ क्लास लेसन आवर एथ इन दिस टॉपिक विल डिस्कस अबाउट एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द एथ एंड इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एथ विल डिस्कस एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द एथ The Earth began to form around four and a half billion years ago. The Earth has reached its present position through a several stages, but not suddenly formed. It began as a ball of swirling dust and clouds and other particles. and passed a molten stage passed through a molten stage molten stage means what it is hot liquid form molten earth was a very hot and constantly bombarded by other massive rocks and other materials from the space at the same time it developed at its grown at size had grown that when the earth was very hot at the time heavy materials are go bottom of the earth bottom means inside of the earth and lighter particles came outside means came to the top area so presently we live on the crust in that part there understand this is the evolution of the earth right now we'll go to the next topic is internal structure of the earth internal structure of the earth. so what is that how it is that internal structure let us see this look at here This is our earth. Earth has made up of three layers. In this first one, crust. Second one, mantle. Third one, core. Again, core dividing into two parts. You can see here outer core, another one inner core there. So, what are these layers? What are the other names of these layers? first one it is crust crust means what it is also called as outer layer outer layer means we are living on the top uh, we are living on the crust outer layer next one it is mantle mantle means it is middle layer or middle part and last core core means it is a center part of the earth Center part of the earth. So, what materials are included in that? What are the minerals are there in this? First one, earth crust. In this, seal is there. It is also called as seal. Seal means what? Silicon, aluminium. Silicon and aluminium. Next one is mantle. In this, it consists of sima. C means S I C and M E M A. C M A. Silicon, magnesium. Silicon and magnesium. So next one is core. In this core, what are the substances there? Nickel and ferrous. Nickel and ferrous. It is also called as nickel. Another names. These are another names. Okay, once again. first layer is known as seal second layer means mantle is known as sima next one it is nife seal sima nife you can easily remember that that substances are consist with that layers now we we'll discuss about if you observe that egg egg we know about egg So you can see. 
see that axial how it is appears that axial exactly that much of volume of thickness the volume of thickness is about the crust at the crust it is only 1 percentage what is the volume of thickness at the crust only 1 percentage just like a egg shell top layer egg shell next one mantle what is the volume of thickness of mantle it is 16 percentage and third one it is core so what is the volume of thickness of core it is more 83 percentage look at the board 83 percentage so these are the thickness volume of thickness now coming to that we'll discuss about atheras mandel and core first one here it is atheras atheras means what we live on the atheras only understood so next thing. so what is the depth of the atheras depth so from 30 to 100 kilometers 30 kilometers to 100 kilometers so it is the uh, about the earth crust okay and what are the substances there or what are the minerals are there in that mostly different kinds of different kinds of rocks are available are there in the earth crust we already discussed that cl is there cl means what silicon and aluminum mostly found in the earth crust now let's discuss about second layer mantle at the crust floats in this layer floats means our at the crust only floats in this layer only floating moves moving okay so most of the volcanic eruptions or earthquakes are starts from this layer only means you can see this second one here it is mostly from this layer it comes out from that from that layer only volcanic eruptions or any earthquakes understood so what is the depth of this layer from 100 kilometers to 2900 kilometers so what are the substances there in this uh, mantle look at the board mostly it consists of some chemicals called silicates silicates understood we already discussed that in mantle sima is there sima means silicon magnesium okay now we'll go to that third one core core means it is the center part of the earth understand so what is the depth of this layer you can see that 2900 km to 6376 km it is entirely once again 2900 to 6376 km it is entirely again this layer again dividing into two types here it is first one is outer core another one is inner core outer core and inner core so what are the depths outer core and inner core outer core the depth of outer core from 2900 to 5000 look at the board 5100 km right so next one it is in that inner core 5100 to 100 km to 6376 so what are the substances there in the outer core mostly we discussed already cl sima nife nife means what nickel ferrous ferrous means iron so similarly in this layer outer core layer mostly nickel 
and iron or ferrous related metals are there or minerals are there in this next last one it is inner core what what consist in this what are the substances consist in this uh, iron inner core heavy substances like gold mostly heavy substances like gold is available in this inner core and iron compound material also available okay so thank you अरनी वीडियो कोसम ान सब्सक्रैब षे अं फी क्लीन दि बेल्का थैंक यू